Welcome, Leo, to your weekly love tower readings. For those of you that are new to this channel, welcome, guys. For those of you returning, welcome back. And thanks for your continued support. So as always, the spread that I'm going to be doing today is going to be a general tarot reading. And what this means is it may not necessarily resonate for everyone watching. In that case, please just take what resonates with you and leave aside what doesn't. Or perhaps you would like a personal reading with me. To do so, please feel free to connect. My email address is going to be listed for you at the bottom of the video here in the show more section below, along with the different types of readings that I offer. And you'll find that those readings resonate with you more closely as they are personal and will directly relate to you and your situation. So the spread that I'm doing here today is intended for Leo Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. Let's take a look at the messages the cards hold for you here, guys. So I'm going to be pulling four cards. Okay. So to begin, we've got the Nine of Cups, followed by the Page of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. Wow. Okay. Nice. It's fair to say there's a lot of water energy in your chart here, Leo. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and take a wild guess and say that you're dealing with a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or someone who has water within their natal chart. Um, I like this spread. I feel like things are looking good, real good. For those of you that are in a relationship, for those of you that are single, um, this is great. Let's begin with the Nine of Cups, okay? This is the Law of Attraction um, card of the Tarot deck, okay? Here you are, okay? I feel like there is someone here who you've manifested or you're, um, you're bringing them into life here. For those of you that are single, I feel like now is a really good time to concentrate on yourself, Okay, concentrate on yourself and the type of person you would like to attract into your life. Okay, the type of partner, the type of characteristics, traits or qualities you would like for them to possess. Um, focus on what you want rather than what you don't want, okay? Because the universe responds to your uh, vibrations and your energy and, you know, your vibrational frequencies. So focus on what the positives rather than the negatives, okay? But... Um, for those of you that are in a relationship or in a connection, if you've recently met someone, this is a good sign with the Nine of Cups. There is someone around you whom you're definitely attracting. So if you have been, if you have your eye on that cutie from work, or you've, you know, you've got your eye set on someone, or you've, um, you know, there's someone here that you want to get closer to, or you want to build more of a connection with someone, I feel like this is very likely to unfold. Okay, I feel like right now, here you are, you're attracting this person into your life. So say, for instance, if you've been attracted to someone who maybe was emotionally unavailable, who was in a relationship, who, who just didn't want a connection, you'll find that things are about to take, well, things are about to take a turn for. Um, you'll find that all of a sudden, this person is going to be emotionally available, um, or all of a sudden, they'll be available to or, and ready to enter a commitment or enter a relationship, or at least, you know, pursue this connection here. But this is, I feel like this is, you know, this is the uh, wish manifestation card. Be careful what you wish for, because you just might get it here, Leo. So a lot of you who have been doing a lot of wishing, wanting, desiring someone, I feel like this person is coming your way here with the Page of Cups. So for some of you, you are going to be receiving contact or receiving communication from your special someone, your sweetheart, or a love romantic interest that you've had your eyes on, okay? And even for those of you that have, like, for example, say if you're in a relationship, not, not a relationship, but say you're in a connection with someone, well, who's been a bit of a fluctuating presence in your life, and you've been wanting to hear from this person, but it's been quite some time, it's likely that this person is going to reach out and contact you this this week or in the weeks to come here, okay? And again, this is because you have been attracting this person, because you've been thinking about this person, dreaming about this person, you know, um, putting a lot of uh, emotional energy into your thought and into your desire for them. But at the same time, I also feel like it's because this person has been, you know, has been picking up on that and has been thinking about you too. So here you are, you're definitely attracting, there's someone here that you've been wanting, you've been desiring for a long time, and you're attracting them into your life here, Leo, okay? Um, or if you've been wanting to hear from someone, you're definitely going to attract communication from them. Now with the Page of Cups, this is, um, well, it's more water energy, we've established that, but this is someone who I feel like it could be someone a little bit younger, 
than yourself or someone with a very playful or enthusiastic type of energy here. Um, so here they are. I do get a sense that somehow this person is... Look, they could be a little bit infantile or juvenile, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. And perhaps that's why for some of you, this person, you know, that's why you've been wanting to attract this person back into your life or you've been desiring them. Maybe because they are a fluctuating presence into your life. Maybe you guys share a special connection, but it's just never really, you know, taken flight. So I feel like um, they just may surprise you. There's something he in the weeks to come that just may surprise you about them okay so even if they are even if they can come across as a little bit emotionally immature a little bit infantile or even if they are younger than you or lack the um you know lack relationship experience maybe they haven't been in um you know in serious relationships haven't had a serious relationship before but i feel like there's def definitely something about them here that's going to surprise you and if there have been a fluctuating presence i feel like it's very likely that they're here to stay okay extremely likely for a lot of you here i feel like you've attracted this is a soulmate connection or a soul connection okay um i feel like you've attracted this person into your life now with the three of cups Okay, with the Three of Cups, this does tell me that someone here feels very uplifted by their presence. I feel like this is you, but it could also be their energy. This is a very exciting type of a connection. For a lot of you, I do feel like there's something about this connection that I feel like is either it's very new, I'm picking up that this you've just recently attracted this person, or you've been desiring this person for so long, and only recently have you guys started talking, or only recently have they become available, or... Um, you know, or it is yet to happen, it is yet to unfold. But I get that this is this connection feels very new in many ways. Um, and with the Three of Cups, this feels like it's very exciting. It feels like you guys are just getting to know each other. You know, you're discovering, you know, things about each other. You're telling your friends about each other. This is someone who feels very excited by your presence or you feel excited by their presence. Feel very uplifted here. Um, it just feels like this connection is something to be very celebrated. I also feel like for some of you, for those of you that are single, it's very likely that this person you're going to meet through some sort of social or celebratory event here. Some sort of uh, family or some sort of social occasion here. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, definitely um, sparks will definitely fly as well. Now for others of you, the Three of Cups does tell me that this particular person seems to be like the center of attention. They like to be the center of attention. They have a large social circle around them. Maybe they're like a social media influence, have a lot of followers here. Um, maybe they're the life of the party. They love to party here. Um, they could have their own entourage. They could, you know, uh, also be famous here. Um, I just feel like this person is always about, they're, they're about having a good time, they're about celebrating. Um, someone he, I feel like they're also known for their beauty and their style. There's a lot of feminine energy around this person. So if it is a male, um, I do feel like this person has a lot of, gets a lot of female attention. They may have a lot of female followers on social media. Um, they may have a lot of female friends. They could have feminine energy about them as well. But I just feel like this person is really good looking they're admired for their looks and i also feel like you know they're beautiful they are beautiful and they're very attractive and not just like physically beautiful i feel like they have a very great energy about them with the ten of cups i feel like this is something it's definitely something to be uh, worth celebrated now for those of you that are single you know for, or for instance for those of you that have just recently met this person um you know, the Ten of Cups, uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. That's not to say that, you know, you guys are going to move in and um, start a family and build a home. Although it is looking likely, it is looking like this could be your, this could be your next major relationship here. And this could be the person that you could end up settling down with and having children. But for others, I feel like with the Ten of Cups, this is someone who sees you in their future or you see this person in your future. This It could also be someone who has... For a lot of you, I feel like this is someone whom you've been desiring for a very long time because this person has been emotionally unavailable. Perhaps you guys had a little bit of a love affair, had a bit of a love triangle going on. They were in a relationship with someone else. The Ten of Cups here could indicate that this person's come out of an emotionally difficult period of their life, and especially romantically, um, 
and now they've become available and now you guys are both in a good place to actually pursue a connection you know to actually um, build on what it is that you guys have okay and there you have it Leah that sums up your spread so as always thank you for watching and listening please show your support by liking the channel um, by su subscribing by commenting and sharing for those of you that do want a reading feel free to connect otherwise take care I will catch up with you next week